And some of these people are losing their entire livelihoods because they're solely based on that social media platform to generate their income. Society's captivation with social media is a giant business asset. But whether you're a blogger or a store owner, there's a growing concern about the lack of accountability for what's being done if your account is disabled or banned. Instagram and all these social media platforms, they have all the control. They are kind of like the judge, juror, and prosecution. It was a shock for Joel Nardelli when last September, the Instagram account he used for his high-end fashion resale business was disabled, saying a post went against the terms and conditions. They didn't tell us which post, they didn't tell us which terms and conditions, they just let us know that we were in violation of their terms. The blogger Armoire still doesn't know what rule they broke and had no way of communicating with the tech giant to find out. Only getting the account back after four months, after filling out a form where they basically have to admit fault and losing about 20 to 30 percent of their revenue in that time. The owners of Instagram, Meta, did not answer our questions regarding supports for businesses in time for broadcast. But earlier this month, after admitting they removed an Edmonton blogger's account in error, sources told City News they process millions of reports each week. And when they do get it wrong, taking on a review to stop it from happening again. But for Nardelli, before reaching out to media, he had no way of contacting Meta and says it was a wake up call. We can definitely use Instagram as a tool for selling and as a tool to, you know, build brand awareness and to engage with consumers. But we've definitely learned to not rely on Instagram. On the importance of having other ways to attract and engage with customers, like mailing lists and websites. But after connecting with others who have gone through similar bans with no transparency, hopes big tech finds a way to be more responsive to business. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.